metamorphoses of butterfly from egg to larvae to pupa to adult is a normal process. Any attempt to truncate or to to deal to, to, to tamper with any of the process will terminate the entire developmental phase of a butterfly into its adult uh, adult stage. What that implies is take your time, do not cut corners, go through the normal process to become a glowing champion in your field of endeavor. Do not truncate the process by cutting corners. This is still the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France, and I am Demola Sayalu saying welcome to an exciting moment on the Backstage Story Show. I will be right back after this short break. <coughs> Children 
that so we were sent out to uh, our secondary schools in, in the south you know um, I am a, I am an actor something that I have always wanted to do um, very passionate about it I believe in it I believe in people I believe in communicating with people I believe in making people happy and this gives me the opportunity to do it and this I confirmed when I saw Ogunde Ogunde's play when he came on tour to Kano I was a boy of about nine no more when I saw it I said to myself this is what I would like to do to see how excited people were it was wonderful you know and um, I mean it was not uh, fake it was so real it was coming from it from within you know it, uh, it's, a, it's a joyful thing and I hope to today my passion is still as uh, as as as, warm as as it was at the, that age of nine and um, I, I still to get I still, I still get the excitement <laughs> there is not there's nothing better than been able to communicate with people and and see that they they you, they are with you and you are with them. You know, it's 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 the joy that nobody nobody can ever imagine. Um, so I'm here. Um, <laughs> How old am I? Yes, I am um, uh, 72 years young. Yes, I was born on the 11th of July, 1942, uh, in Kano, of course. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still enjoying my work. Of course, I cannot play young man. I cannot play, you know, the junior person, an older, older person is fine. I'm not interfering in any other character, anybody's uh, area. I enjoy, I enjoy, you know, and there's, there's, there's the kind of life that it is. You we are depicting life. So when I when I couldn't, you know, when I stopped being a baby, I became a young boy. When I left there, I became a young man. I became a husband. I became a father. You know, and that's that's I'm depicting life even in my job. That is how I've been growing, playing different parts. You know, even though right from the right from childhood. From my elementary school, in school productions, I was playing parts of general, fathers, kings. You know, so no, it's not new. It's not new to me. You know, I, I am a children of. I'm, I'm a child of history. I'm a child of history. I love. It, I love it. You know, I love. I respect the culture. You know, and. Uh, the opportunity that this has given this Nollywood has given us the possibility to be able to tell our own stories ourselves not uh, the one that will be told by some somebody else tell us how we feel no, we know how we feel and our people see that they are happy they are proud you know, and that we are very very proud of them you know, I, it's nice to have this here Thank you very much, sir. That was a very explanatory detail. Now, uh, Uncle Lu, you, you clocked uh, 72 uh, uh, on the 11th, on the 11th of July. Now, remini let's reminisce. What what are the, the moments that really ca catch your fancy way back, that you that you look back and you, you still wish you were there? Uh, I don't know. Um, I, like I said, I... Uh, I, I'm still, I'm still excited, I'm passionate. I enjoy, I enjoy my work. I enjoy to see, the, you know, when uh, when fans see you or pull you or write you, you know, and they, and they, and they, and they, they, they compliment, they compliment you. And, you know, it's, 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 it's wonderful. It's wonderful. You know, you can feel something and you just let it go. But when you see, when you when you express it, you take the trouble, the extra trouble to look for the person and express it. You know that is very satisfying. 
how many jobs do uh, you know enjoy that kind? You know, unsolicited. You know, it's, 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 it's very. I I I I enjoy it, and I can understand when the younger people do want to. Because I used to be young. <laughs> All right, this is still the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France, and I am with the veteran actor Olu Jacobs. Now, Uncle Olu, uh, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in England, when you got admission into that college, what was your what was your objective? What was on your mind? Did you ever envisage that you were going to be this um, popular and celebrated? In, in, in life, when you, you you pray to succeed, what is success in the area of our job? The success is, is when you see people. You know, I go I, I go from here to the United States of America, and the main and the main popular main road, and suddenly I see two three people. You know, the they kneel down greeting me and and I, and I find out that they are from Angola <laughs> you know and they recognize me and they appreciate me and you know and, and, I, <laughs> and then they say the same, same thing you went to the Republic of Ireland the same thing uh, England oh, England on the tube on the you know on the, on the buses they, to be recognized, recognized and appreciated you see you can be recognized and people ignore you. You know, but uh, when they when 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 they recognize you uh, and appreciate you warmly, some some even go and and, and them, they, they, they can speak anyway. You know, some you go into their house and they just freeze. They are, they just they freeze they freeze. You know, that appreciation. It's, it's very, it's very humbling. I'm very, I'm very humbled by it. That, uh, that, that energy and the ability to, you know, to communicate with people. You know, uh, I, 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 I'm always thankful. Uh, uh, I will always be thankful. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a special gift. I, I wanted to succeed, and I, I, you know, and I, I was, I was sure I was going to succeed. How, su how successful I was not sure, but I, 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 I could see it. I could see it in my mind's eye. I could see it. You know, but uh, we thank God. We thank God that uh, we are seeing it. I hope it's, uh, it will, it will continue. <laughs> now then, we're still going back to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, sir. The, do you have colleagues that you were there together, that you graduated together, and they, that are excelling in this industry too? Uh, in, this, in this country, I think, uh, the, unfortunately, all the people that I... You know, they, we, we've lost, we've lost to them. Uh, the, the only other person I can remember, I can, uh, uh, is uh, um, Mr. Bayo Udunaye. He was the artistic director of the National Troop. Okay. Yes, uh, he was, uh, he was a, a student of uh, the Royal Academy. You know, uh, and uh, as I said, he was director, you know, uh, of the national of the national troop. I mean, that's the highest you can go there. You know, uh, lost, lost some. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's not a place where I, I, you find a lot of happy people. You know. Um, uh, but it, 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 it was the place where you work, you go and you work because you want to work, because you you really really want to work. Yes, that is no, it's not a, you know, no hanging about, no, you know you don't you don't you don't toy with it. Um, and anybody who is not good, you know the <laughs> the way out. All right. All right.
this is State of Access Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And I have been speaking with Ozu Jacobs, the veteran actor himself. I am with him here and, you know, his voice is still as unique as ever. That same voice, that same tone, you know, the same expression. Now, Uncle Ulu, the goodies, till death do us part. Bado at large, the venture, adventurers, <laughs> angels, 1990, and uh, the tomorrow people, I'm sure you know, then the professionals. I think that was the one that sold a lot in Nigeria, the professionals. I, I saw you in that, in that movie. What, what, how did you feel performing with, with uh, the whites, despite uh, you know, racial discrimination? Well, uh, I, I was, uh, I, I mean, uh, I, 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 went, I went to England to, to learn and apply my trade. Um, it was difficult, it was difficult at times because there were very, very few parts that were written for black actors. You know, the way, the, some areas even behave as if we don't even exist in that country at all. You know, some are trying to, you know, really uh, uh, let the world know that uh, Britain is multiracial. You know, to you are caught between the two, the two worlds. But we are, we always, our own generation always told the actors' um, union equity. That we should we should begin to do something about it. Because if we don't, our own generation may be may may be gentle. The ones coming behind us, they are pushing at us, and they are not going to listen. Once we are not there to calm them down, you must begin to think of how you are going to change and reflect the society in which we all live. You know, you cannot pretend that I don't exist because I, I am here. I am present and you can see me. <laughs> so, you know, all that we, were, we, we keep campaigning, we keep campaigning and we keep telling them. I did, uh, you know, so some, some characters, how I want to some characters in some place were written and they could be played by either white or black. Of course, I, you know, or it, like a doctor. Play doctor, you know, you can play, you can play cleaner, cleaner. If it's of you know, we didn't want to just limit it to just um, cleaner, 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 <laughs> cleaner, cleaner, whatever, you know. So, but we, we keep, we keep, we keep telling, telling them. And again, this is one of the reasons why I thought I had crossed the limit in in in, in England. I, had, I felt it that I had got to the limit because I was at um, the uh, Phoenix Theatre, Charing Cross Road, in Night and Day by Tom Stoppard, Diana Rigg, John Fall, um David Langton. I, I was in that play. It ran for 18 months. 18 months. One year, six months. And I performed every day. I never missed one performance. I was the only actor and the main actor who did not lose a day. You know, I performed and eight, eight performances a week. You know, for 18 months. You know, uh, I, I said to myself, when I prayed for success, if success is having to play this thing ten times a day, I will play it. What I have to do, I have to get myself into a state of mind where I can, you know, because after a while, you begin to wonder what's going on, what's going on. You don't know where you are on stage, sometimes you just go blank. Because you've been repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again. Okay. And once I found out what it was, I just calmed down. And I didn't, I tried not to think about the script, or the play. Once I get home, you know, and I leave it until I'm going out. When I'm going out in the car, I have good music, different music. You know, go to the theater in good time, no panic, in good time. Rest, relax. You know, and I had a routine.
routine, things that I did, go and have a shower, finish my shower, you know. And I got to, and I got myself ready. I, I, I never missed it. I never missed it at all. So, and the ritual worked. It worked. Before then, I did the little, little hat. The little hat was a was the part of a, a, again a, an actor. It was only th uh, three people on, on on an island, marooned on an island. <laughs> the little hat. The little hat. H U T. Okay, the little hat. You know, it was it was it was great fun. You know, uh, the, the, I'm sure I'm sure I'm doing. You have all this. <laughs> All right, this is still the backstage story, and I'm enjoying myself with Olu Jacobs here. It's nice to have him on this show. Now, Olu Jacobs, the, all these international appearances you did, let's not talk about the local thing yet. The, all the international uh, movies and, and sitcoms that you performed in, which one would you say was, more ch was most challenging for you? I had done in England every program that I had 
and he had it with them. Mm. It was incredible. Mm. Most uh, uh, terrifying, uh, terrifyingly exciting. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, I signed, uh, you know, as many as I could. The rest, the producer said, he will bring to me in my own time. I can sign them. He will send it back to them. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Some couldn't speak. They were just looking. Mm. You know, they've seen me in different things. Uh, you know, and they've noted everything they've seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. You know, and, uh, I, I didn't I didn't know the tears were coming out my in my eyes. You know. Ah it's it's it's, it's, it's a it's a very, very great honor. Very great honor. I enjoyed it. Just wanted to see me wanted to uh, me <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this is still the Bachelor Story Show. And I'm with Olu Jacobs. Uncle Olu, his full name is Olu Dotsumbayewu Jacobs. And he's from Egba. Uh, he celebrated his birthday last month on the 11th of July, uh, his 72nd birthday. Uh, Uncle Olu, uh, let's talk about um, Nollywood now. Now, when you started the film, in the show, you started in, in, in uh, internationally and you came back to Nigeria. All this while you've seen what the movie industry is like in Nigeria. Would you say the movie industry in Nigeria or Nollywood is metamorphosing into something of a great edifice? Uh, uh, you know, Nigeria is a, is a, is a peculiar case. We we were a, a, a country after independence. We had a civil war. You know, we recovered from that. We built and we staged the first Black World Festival. You know, uh, and people from all over the world came. All black people came uh, came to Nigeria, and we provided them with. Them best, uh, you know, the, the thing they could ever have imagined. And we thought it was going to move forward like that. Alright, so uh, Demo Lanson, you're on the backstage story. And remember that you can download your Nollywood Radio France app on your, your mobile devices anywhere in the world. Simply go to the Google Play Store, search for the Nollywood Radio France show, download the app, and all our programs are live on your palm top or your mobile device, and you're good to go. It's nice having you, and See you meet again on the next exciting episode of the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. Keep good, stay well, stay out of trouble. Bye.